From his iconic portrayal of Gandalf in The Lord of the Rings to his nuanced depiction of Magneto in the X-Men franchise, Sir Ian has brought a rare combination of gravitas and humanity to every character he embodies. For the next seven days at the new Wimbledon Theatre, Ian McKellen plays Falstaff in a new version of Shakespeare's Henry IV, adapted by the award-winning writer and director Robert Eka. This weekend, we try to meet the man himself. Right, here we go again then. Another adventure, another fun and exciting vlog, hopefully. Today is Operation Me, Ian McKellen, Got myself a Gandalf Funko Pop to hopefully get signed by the man himself today. We are off to the new one with the theatre to see Player Kings. We're not actually going to be watching the show, but we are going to be hoping to uh, see Ian McKellen after the show. Let's see how today goes. Four very funny looking hobbits off on a new adventure. Let's go. Okay guys, so we are here in West Brompton, about 20 minutes away from New Wimbledon. So let's just have a little uh, tour of the hotel. Oh, and who's ringing me? Mr. Joe Waits is ringing me, so let's see what he's got to say. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You know I me? Mean? Where are you? He's changing on him. Oh, you're on the train? Yeah, yeah. Alright, sweet, yeah. I mean, I've just checked into the hotel. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are here in the hotel. Operation meeting Ian McKellen is underway. Hotel, not sure what I think. Um, not the best so, that, so far that I've been in. But the, the room's okay. I don't mind the room. Got two twin beds here. So it's not too bad. Yeah, it'll do for, it'll do for tonight. So hopefully we should have a good day, good evening, whatever, whatever does happen tonight. So looking forward to it. It's really weird because um, Comic Con is actually on here in London this weekend and I'm not going, Joe's not going. So it really shows you how bad this uh, Comic Con is by Showmasters. The guests, there's been guest cancellations and, which it, and there's not even a, a big enough lineup really to host the Comic Con. But anyway, so we're gonna make, try and make the most of our fun weekend, try and meet Ian McKellen and have a good night out on top of it. Anyway guys, let's see how we get on later on. See you in a bit. Right guys, the adventure starts here. We've got Dino Joe, all ready to go. Almost oh, a bit right. too eager right now. <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> but we're off. Got the Gandalf Funko Pop. Hopefully, get it signed tonight. Yeah, this is my one. <sighs> Don't know how I feel about it, but we're going to give it a go. If we do get it signed, it's going to be a very, very good night. Let's see how we get on. Off to Wimbledon we go. <laughs> So we've got about 20 minutes. What's the verdict? It's happening. We're getting it done. There's no signers there. No autograph merchants. <laughs> We're in. We're in. You know the rules. But what's the oh, verdict? Bebo. I just wanted to be in the video, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Are we getting signed? We'll see. Thank the voice you. of reason. I'm willing, I'm willing to take one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's taking one for the team. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> no, yeah, it is. That's legally binding. Alright, we'll find out in about half hour. <laughs> No, they have windows. No, but I, as soon as I, as soon as you did one, I thought I'd step back because I thought I'll, I'll push one up and I didn't want to be disrespectful of going up and be like, I've got some other ones. Alright, here's the window. Oh, no. I think it'll look better once it's like, oh, tell us where to get a video. Look at the smud. <laughs> <laughs> it's just looking at his face. Look at Callum's face, look at Angus. 
<laughs> this is fine. What you don't know is when it's you they kind of walk past and they call them a prick. <laughs> He just said, I don't sign those. <laughs> he did, he called you a prick. Day one wasn't a complete success. We did get the auto on the program. Shout out to Joe for uh, hooking me up with the program. So I have got a sign. Ian McKellen auto. Signed, signed auto. It's autograph from Ian McKellen. Day two though, we're not giving up. Don't know Joe's not giving up. Joe, what is your plan? I've got a very cheeky, cheeky idea. So we went in for a bit of Planet earlier and they had three pound pops. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to nick this window. So I paid three quid for a pop to get the window cleaned all the window up so you can't see it and I put it inside the program over Sir Ian McKellen's face so hopefully if I just hold it it'll sign where his face is which is where the window will be and then the window signed and then Gandalf is signed fingers crossed that's the plan but we shall see we shall see if my uh my plan is genius so we're gonna find out in about 40 45 minutes if it works or not so yeah yesterday was a weird one he was friendly ish but it was a four hour, over a four hour performance. Today he's done the performance twice. So he's going to be very tired. So hope for the best. Hopefully Joe does get a sign. We'll see what happens when we get back to the hotel. See you. Get a fucking nap. So we are back from Wimbledon. This guy's smiling, so you know, you know what's happened. Joe, you want to talk through the first day, your experience of stage door? Uh, so the first day, we didn't really know what to do or how late it finished, really. We didn't realise at first it was a four and a half hour show. Yeah. So they weren't finishing until at least half ten. There was a signage on the gate outside the stage door that said, only signing merch from the play nothing else yeah I'll basically put, saying no yeah, i'll put a photo on the screen now for you guys to take a look at so if you are considering going down yeah there, there is a bit of paper on the barrier uh quite quite a few bit of papers weren't there quite a long on the wall as well uh they're only signing merch yeah from play kings play kings material first night um all the guests come out uh we had i have to read them out we've got uh tahib uh, jimo from uh, ted lasso uh, most commonly known Ian McKellen come out and was he have got Richard Coyle. Um, so yeah, so all the stars actually come out um, around half ten to uh, eleven o'clock. And yeah, obviously my aim was to uh, get the Ian McKellen to sign uh, my Gandalf pop. Unfortunately, he wasn't signing anything, but I did manage to get the also on the program. So yeah, Joe uh, picked up a program for me. So I, I did get Ian McKellen's autograph, but it is on the Player Kings program. So. I'm happy, but of course I would like to get the pop sign. So no sign pop for me. And Joe, for you, first night. So yeah, same as Tell. Got a signed program. I've got Ian McKellen there, uh, Tahib at the top, who plays Sam and Ted Lasso. He was a really, really nice guy, by the way. Yeah. Um, taking pictures of everyone, telling people, oh, thank you for watching. Oh, thank, tell your family love from me for watching Ted Lasso and stuff. So yeah, really cool. Very happy we managed to get a program. When we saw those signs, we sat down in the pub and it was really playing with me going, we've come all this way. He will sign a program then if they're putting that outside. So that will yeah, be done. True, so yeah. obviously the show's already going on. Um, so I knocked on the, the front of the theater and the steward come out whispering and I asked if I could, if I could buy some programs. And she just said, oh, yeah, yeah, come with me. <laughs> and took me to the bar, which was very, very nice of her. So thank you very much to the staff at New Wimbledon Theatre for sorting us out. Otherwise, yeah, we'd, um, we had a terrible, terrible night. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, night. We, would have, we would have been gutted. Because we were going to buy tickets for the show, but the tickets would have been digital e-tickets. So we wouldn't have had time to get uh, paper tickets sent to us either. So I think a programme was the only thing you could do, really. There wasn't really anything else you could get. One thing we haven't spoke about so far is about uh, photographs and stuff. So Ian McKellen, um, the agents who come out uh, before Ian comes out, he did say he wasn't doing any post photographs, but you are happy to... Uh, film him, take photos of him, but he's not actually going to stand there and pose, which I kind of get it, which is, but it's also a bit disappointing at the same time. Yeah, it's a weird one. It's, you've got to appreciate he's in his mid 80s and he's still working. Moving on to tonight then. So, you want to talk about tonight? So, I devised a little plan, and yeah, 
he signed it. <laughs> you, say, you can go close on the yeah. all the focus. Yeah, he signed it. So yeah. that is a window on top of the window at the moment, just because I've got it inside the hard stack to keep it safe. Um, yeah, I did. I was going to give him a paint pen, but I was worried that if I stalled, that it wouldn't um, it wouldn't happen. Uh, so yeah, he uh, he did he did notice it though, and I did absolutely brick it for a second. He said <laughs> he said, "Oh, what's this plastic?" I said, oh, so it's just to protect the uh, to protect the programming." He went, "Oh, fair enough." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah," and then he did it, and uh, we just got out of there in a flash, just in case, because the security and his agent were very, very firm that no X Men, no Lord of the Rings. Technically, it's not. But... Yeah, that was a good announcement. thing. Friday, they made an announcement: no Lord of the Rings merch is getting signed, and then tonight, it was no Lord of the, no Lord of the Rings and no X Men. But we think uh, Mark might have had to say in that. Uh, after what happened to him yesterday. Yeah, so Mark from r &M Collectibles managed to get his Magneto comic cover signed yesterday after they said that he wasn't doing anything except from show merch, um, which is really good of Ian McKellen to be fair. And we were all really happy for him because there was four of us that went. It was us two, Cam Coombsy and r &M Collectibles. Um, so the fact that we got program signed and Mark managed to get his um, his Magneto signed, it's just, it's just really good. Tips, Joe, any tips for people if they want to try it out? Um, don't over expect if he's performing in a show, if you want to get his autograph, just to get his autograph and the chance to meet him, go to the stage door literally as the show finishes. If you're going to watch the show, please do. The only reason we didn't is because it was a bit of a pain to try and get a ticket last minute and I felt a bit wrong taking a ticket off someone when it's only there for a week and we don't really we're not exactly huge fans of Shakespeare, so it would have felt wrong us taking a ticket. I think. Yeah, it's a different language to me, Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just it's not my it's not my league. Yeah, yeah. If you don't want to get the auto, I'll definitely just recommend getting the program, going stage door between half ten to eleven o'clock. Comes out about quarter to eleven, but obviously there will be a bit of queue and a bit of demand. But yeah, I mean, he looked uh, he looked like he was happy to sign for everyone. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it then, guys, for our video. Our journey slash vlog whatever you want to call it so quite a fun one different one but happy ending spurs won today we went top and today uh spurs beat palace 3-1 um, um what's that <laughs> timo <laughs> timo burn that's good cool. <laughs> yeah and uh yeah and joe got his pop sign so overall a successful day for all of us so um yeah if you did like today's video guys do be sure to hit that thumbs up button that'd be great and do leave your comment as well i'd like to see some interaction on this video as well that'd be really really good uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one see you later Ta -da.